Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us try to understand greenhouse, greenhouse effect. So greenhouse effect is a natural phenomenon. So this phenomenon cannot be created artificially. It, it happens on its own. So what happens is this phenomenon is responsible for heating the earth as well as atmosphere. That's because the solar radiation gets trapped within the earth. So here we have to see how exactly the trapping takes place. Now, as I mentioned that the solar radiation, when it comes from the sun and it reaches or it falls on the surface of the earth, it first has to encounter the atmosphere. So, it first encounters the outer layer of atmosphere. Now, what happens is a part of the radiation gets reflected around somewhere around 25% of it gets refle reflected by the gases and the clouds present in the outer layer of atmosphere. So, let us say this is the sun. And this is the earth. So when the solar radiation falls on the surface of the earth, it first encounters the outer layer of atmosphere. So let us say this is the outer layer of atmosphere. Now as soon as it falls here, there are clouds and gases which reflect around 25% of it. So 25% gets reflected straight away. The remaining 75% gets inside the surface of the earth. Now some part also gets absorbed by some small percentage gets absorbed by the gases and the clouds but the remaining they reaches the earth's surface. They reaches the land on the earth, they reaches the oceans on the earth. Now when the oceans and the land all these things when they absorb this solar radiation what happens they get heated up. Now when they get heated up what will happen? They will emit infrared radiation. Now this infrared radiation which is emitted so earth surface will try to re-emit the infrared radiation. So the earth surface will try to send the infrared radiation to the outer space. Now but not all of it is able to escape to the outer space because it has to pass through the atmosphere. What happens is in the atmosphere there are certain gases which are called as greenhouse gases. For example carbon dioxide, methane, all these gases are present in the layers of the atmosphere and what happens is when the infrared radiation wants to escape out, these gases absorb a major fraction of it. A major part of the infrared radiation is absorbed by these gases and only a small amount of it is allowed to escape. So only small amount of infrared radiation finally escape into the space. So what happened? That means a large portion of infrared radiation got trapped within the earth. Now infrared radiation will increase the temperature. It results in heating up of the earth. So as a result, earth gets heated up. Now this cycle keeps on repeating until and unless no infrared radiation is left over to be emitted. So this process goes on continuously. So these gases which actually help in absorbing a major part of infrared radiation, they are called greenhouse, if greenhouse gases and this process or this process in which infrared radiation is trapped which results in heating of the earth, this process is called greenhouse effect. So important greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide and methane. So this is how exactly the process of greenhouse effect take place. Now you might wonder that okay so if greenhouse effect is something which is actually increasing the temperature of the earth so that is something which is fine which is absolutely desirable. So why, why, why are we considering greenhouse effect as an environmental issue? Why is it a part of environmental issue? So that is what we have to see now. Now increasing the temperature of the earth is good only to some extent. Now if the earth gets heated up too much even that is going to cause problem to the organisms who are surviving on the earth and that is what has started happening now. Now the greenhouse gases, the amount of greenhouse gases have increased too much as a result the earth atmosphere is getting too much heated up and this has an adverse effect on the environment and that is why we are discussing greenhouse effect in this section. 
Now, before we talk about the harmful effects associated with greenhouse effect, why I think all of you might be interested to know why is the name greenhouse effect? So, there is no house, there is no green. So, why do we call this phenomenon as greenhouse effect? So, let us try to see why is it called greenhouse effect. So, now the name greenhouse came from something different but something which is uh, quite similar to this process. What is greenhouse? Greenhouse is basically a term for a glass house where plants are grown. So, what, what they do is to commercially grow a large number of plants, what they do is they take a glass box and inside that box they grow plants. So, this greenhouse, this glass box can be small sized or it can be very big size for commercial purposes. So, it can be of the size of industries as well. So, it can be small sized to industrial sized. Now, and in, with this glass box, there are several provisions to control the temperature, control the amount of light falling on the plants, to control the shade, irrigation, humidity, etc. And thus can uh, control a proper plant growth. So this is commonly a technique which is followed during winters because during winters not, lot, not enough sunlight or not enough heat is being provided to the plants. So the plants do not grow that well. So as a result this concept of greenhouse is uh, used in winters. Now what happens in winters is this glass box does the same thing. It allows the solar radiation to fall or to pass through it. So as a result what happens is the radiation from the sun it enters inside the glass box but it is not allowed to get reflected back. Now when it falls inside so the plants will I mean get heated up, the soil will get heated up so when they emit infrared radiation the infrared radiation is not allowed to come out of the glass box. So as a result the heat gets trapped so the plants get more heat and that is something which is not available during winters. So we want more heat for the plants and for that purpose this green this glass house is constructed. Now exactly the same phenomenon happens in greenhouse effect also. What happens is solar energy or solar radiation reaches inside the earth but it is trapped or it is blocked from going out. As a result the earth gets heated up. Now, since the same thing happens even on the earth therefore the name which is given for this process is greenhouse effect. Now, a very similar phenomenon you would have observed in case of a car also. So, let us suppose when you park your car in sun where there is sufficient sunlight with, with all the windows closed. So, what happens? Through the glass windows, the sunlight reaches inside your car and as a result, the heat radiation heats up the seats and the in entire interior of the car gets heated up. But when the infrared radiation tries to come out of the car, it is not allowed to come out of the car. Out of the car. So, as a result, what happens? The interior of the car gets heated up and that is why if you park your car in sun for say a couple of hours, when you come back, the interior of the car is extremely heated up. That's because the entire infrared radiation gets trapped in within the car. So the greenhouse effect also has a similar kind of effect. So that is why, so I hope with the example of this greenhouse, you will be convinced now that why it is called greenhouse effect. Now since this process is called greenhouse effect, therefore the gases which are responsible for actually absorbing the infrared radiation like methane and carbon dioxide, they are called greenhouse gases. So here you can see the same thing, the real greenhouse effect. You see these are the greenhouse gases. So they will absorb a lot of infrared radiation and only a some part of heat could escape out of the space. Therefore the interior of the earth as well as the earth's atmosphere gets heated up. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.